conventional design, the cross of Christ is the center of peace for humanity. So for us to enjoy peace, that is lasting peace, the cross of Christ is going to provide us that peace. And that's the peace that we have said here this morning. That peace is not the peace that people talk about. You know what? That's not the kind of peace I'm talking about. This peace is not what it means that I'm not going to part with the world. No. This peace is not mean that I'm not going to be hungry. No. This peace does not mean that you pray sick. But that's what I'm doing. This peace does not mean that your life will not fight for you. You can stop that. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. The peace, I mean, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I'm not going to say.
So you continue to check it. The devil is here. Don't think that you think I'm in Africa. If you're not strong, you check it from you. Because if you look at it, you don't need it. If you look at it, you don't need it. Just don't need it and drop it. So you can connect what you claim. So don't think that any of these things you do, you can put it to the Like a handkerchief, anything you want to do, you know, it's a business, right? Try to work on you, you know. This is something that you need to work on it.
Verse 15. When he had disarmed the rulers and authorities, those supernatural forces of evil operating against us, he made a public example of them, exhibiting them as captives in his triumphant procession, having triumphant over them through the cross. Chapter 3, verse 14. Beyond all these things, put on and wrap yourself in unselfish love, which is the perfect form of unity. For everything is bound together in agreement when each one seeks the best for others.
The word of God must fill your heart. That is number one. The word of God must what? Fill it. It must still here. That's still here. It has to fill here. Fill it to the brim. It's just like a bottle. You don't fill, fill the bottle and leave some face spaces. The air will go there. Air will go inside. Praise the Lord. So you fill it and block the air from going inside. So that is one. Number two, the word of God must never fill your mouth. It has to fill your mouth. Fill your heart. It also has to what? Fill your mouth. It has to fill here. There are two things. It will fill the heart and then also what? Fill your mouth. It has to be there. Every day you speak it. It has to be there. It must be the language that you speak daily. This is the thing that makes it so to be. His heart was filled with the word of God. It filled his mouth. Number three. He gave himself to speak the word into situation. He gave himself to speak that word into situation. He spoke the word into every situation that he in. He speak the word. It is written. It is written. He speak it. It's okay. Do you not allow the devil to convince, to convince you or to confuse you or to drag you out of the room because of his consciousness? No. Because the word is in your mouth and is in your heart, he has no space. Don't give him a foothold. Do not give him a foothold where he can stand there and begin to bargain with you and begin to, begin to go into agreement. No. You have to lock the door. Point number three. Point number, number four. You act on that word that you saw. 